Bluefin's 800 meter freestyle. As you look at the swimmers, that's Alana Brown in lane one from Long Island. And in lane two, Isabella Paletti from Delaware Swim Team. Three, that's Annabelle Corcoran from Long Island. Four is Sid Joyce from Bluefish. Five, Lauren Johnson from Long Island. Six, that's Kimberly Jojus from Badger Swim Club. And then two swimmers from Long Island, Sophia Karras, Maggie McNamara in lane eight. Johnson was your winner in the 400 free last night. And it should be a good one here in the eight. All right, here we go, 16 lengths of the pool. What has previously been, uh, well, the second longest race in the pool for men and women. Previously the longest race in the Olympic Games until the recent edition of the 1500 free. You see Lauren Johnson, she was big in the four last night. And she's going for it. First 50, it's Johnson at 31.38, followed by the top seed, Sydney Joyce. It's Johnson opening up, actually a, a decent lead here. Joyce is the only one within a second. And trying to make, make it two wins in two nights after what happened in the 800, 400 I should say last night. Eight hundred free always an interesting race because it's it's a distance race, but it's not as, as I don't want to say hardcore, but it's not as grueling as the mile. The idea of being you know staring down for say nine ten minutes, not quite as intimidating as eighteen minutes. And Johnson now opening up a big lead at the two. Can we uh, see the split? We can see the splits on the screen here. You see Johnson's at 212.46, leads by almost three seconds. Isabella Paletti up there at the top of your screen in lane two is in second. And Sid Joyce holding on to third in lane four. Some nice battles developing here. Paletti just ahead of Corcoran and Joyce. Lane six, seven, and eight, that's Joe Karras and McNamara. They're all pretty close together. And really, it's only Brown in lane one that's fallen behind the field. Paletti now a body length up on Corcoran, who's moved into third. All Lauren Johnson here. And she turns the 300 mark, 500 yards to go. 320.38.
There she is, Lauren Johnson out and head of the field as she's coming up on the halfway point here. And you can see, as we're gonna start, show you just how far ahead she is of the rest of the field right now. 10 meters, almost 10 meters. Flipping at the halfway point, 428.90. No one in this field has ever been under nine minutes. Gonna take a nice back half for Johnson to do that. You don't expect an even split, at least this time of year. So we'll see where she is as we move a little bit further toward, through this race. Paletti's still second. Corcoran's still third. Then Joyce. Then it's kind of a straight line back to Joe and Karras. This is the 500 meter mark. Eight laps to go, or six laps to go, I should say. Johnson has thoroughly broken th down the field. I think that was a 108. We'll get a 100 split here to assess her shot at going under nine minutes. Her best time, 902.20. Long course nationals cut is an 848.09. She won't be at that level, but the junior nationals cut's an 858.69. So definitely want to be looking at that. 34.7 on that 50. Pool operators won't necessarily agree with this, but most long course pools, there you can sense a little bit of a current. So you, generally in a distance race, when you're trying to even split it, you go faster on 150 than the other. It's pretty standard. Last night, during the men's mile, we could pretty clearly see that Will Barreo, who won that event, was faster coming back towards the start end than he was going uh, towards the diving towers. So 34.7 on the previous lap, and Johnson on this lap is at 34.2. So that's about a 10. About a 108.9 or a 109.0. Um, gonna need to pick it up, certainly, if she's gonna get under nine minutes. Certainly we'll have a chance at points this season, but the swimmer for the Long Island Aquatic Club is all by herself in this 800 free. The latest challenger for a top three spot, looking back, if we can pan back a little bit, um, I guess you'll see them as they come into the turn. And that's Sophia Karras in lane seven making a run at Joyce and then Corcoran who's in third, Paletti hanging on to second. 34-1 there, so Johnson is picking it up. So we'll see if, she, if she's under 34 on this 50. We have a good, that, that's what she'll need to be to have a shot at going under this uh, nine minute mark. The art of swimming distance by yourself. It's uh, it's mentally draining, and the nothing better, no better sound than the bell. 754.42. She's another 34.1 on that 50. Got to come home in 105.5 to be under uh, nine minutes. Yep, 105 mid. It's gonna take. So that's gonna be a a heck of an ask. She's spinning as fast as she can. Kind of the Janet Evans style, just swing your arms and get good results. Not necessarily high elbows above the water. Uh, what she's doing is clearly working. Karras has moved into third. Paletti's still second and Corcoran's still third in lane three. But it, that race for seconds tightening up. Lauren Johnson, 828.58. It's going to be tough. It's going to be really tough, but she is putting the legs in, trying to put the legs in, whatever's left. Last day of a long meet. You can even see some of the other coaches cheering her on. And we're looking right at Lauren as she's coming into the wall. Going to be just over that nine minute mark. It'll be her lifetime best though, 9.0157. So that's the best time by a few tenths of a second. 
She looks thoroughly tired after that one. Race for second. Corcoran's come through here, and she's going to take second ahead of Paletti and then Joyce. So 9 -0. oh no. No, we have a tie for second. After 800 meters, Isabella Paletti and Annabelle Corcoran tie at 917.03. Just about eight, about uh, 8,500s ahead of Sid Joyce, but a tie for second after an 800 free, not something you normally see. The winner again, Lauren Johnson with a magnificent 901.